Hey! Hey! Oh! What the hell? Yo, come here! Fellas. <sighs> Welcome to Imaginary Friend Asylum. As a little recap for the last video, if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Video will be in the description. Basically, we met Annabelle uh, after, or not Annabelle, we met her imaginary friend first, who jump scared us in the hallway after our class, who gave us a letter which was saying that we need to meet Annabelle in the shed at 9 p.m., which was already kind of sketchy. But after we met her, she told us that the ghost of the asylum is really interested in us and he's calling us the, his favorite toy. And we also piqued the interest of the doctor of the asylum, which Polo warned us that that could be dangerous. And everyone who's new and haven't seen the game yet or anything, basically this game is you're playing as Anthony who's like, I think six or seven years old and we get sent to this asylum after a traumatic incident. So our goal is basically to either, either escape this asylum or figure out what they're doing to the kids here because whatever they're doing is not good. Now hopefully you're interested and without further ado, strap in and let's freaking begin. I still don't feel well. I should go to the bed and rest like Boris said. All right, yeah, so this is straight after we came from Boris's uh, office. All right, let's go to bed. It's so weird being here and there's no nurses. I feel like I could probably escape, but you know, I'll probably get called out. What am I, six years old? All right, here we go. I opened the door and made my way to my bed. Nobody else was in the room. They had already gone to class. I lay down and looked up at the ceiling. I thought to myself that I would do anything to change my sordid fate and that I would make it home, alive. Close my eyes and sleep took over me. Wow. These poor kids, man, they're all just like, they need help, but they're just, instead they're getting like experiments done on them. Time to switch the medicine. I should grab the candle behind my bed first. All right. Oh my gosh. Another mission? Bro, don't tell me. I gotta, I gotta sneak again. Edward and Twisty are still in the punishment cell? Maybe I can check on them while I sneak out tonight. How long are they gonna be? Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, he's back. That's Pete. Pete and his, his uh, pirate friend. Oh my god. Nicholas up again, bro. Jesus. Anthony, are you okay? What happened? Dr. Freak added poison to my treatment. He poisoned you? Yes. Then Boris took me to his office to recover. So that's why we didn't see you all day. Boris said the poison might kill me. I'm so sorry that happened. This is bad, Anthony. What are you going to do? Boris told me to swap the poison with water. I see. So Boris actually really helped you. I'm glad he's on your side. Me too, bro. I'll go with you, Tony. Let's freaking go. It's too dangerous. I can risk you getting into trouble for me. I don't want your help. What? Bro, I wish there was an option where I could just say yes. Uh, let's just do this one. Hey, don't worry about it. I told you before, didn't I? My family's never even visited me. I'll be stuck here forever anyway. Nicola, you're you poor freaking guy. Besides, I can be a distraction in, in case the nurses find us. You have to switch the medicine. You know what will happen if you don't. Thank you, Nicola. You're the go, bro. Anytime. Anyway, I guess we should head out. While we're out, should we check on Edward? If we can, then I'd like to as well. I'm worried about him and Twisty. Those nurses are evil incarnate for keeping them in there over some dirty water. I agree. Well then, should we head out? Let's go. So we actually got my guy Niccolo with me, bro. Let's go. Let's hurry. Our punishment will be horrific if we get caught again. You know where they keep your treatment? Boris said it's in the operating room upstairs. Alright, lead the way. Oh my god, now this time. This time, there's no nurse outside. Oh, I forgot already what he said upstairs, right? Alright, let's go. Yeah, he's kind of scared when he's walking behind me. I wish they made like, uh, you know, actually, this makes the game different when, when there's like no faces. Everyone's all like blacked out. Uh, what room was it? That isn't the right way. That's the punishment. Should we check on them now? Okay, no, we're doing it after apparently. Should we go in the surgery room, right? Yeah, here we go. Already cutscene. This is it, Anthony. Sit. <coughs> I'll sit out here and yell if any nurses show up. It should give you enough time to get the job done. Thank you for your help, Nicola. Don't mention it. Now get in there and find that treatment. I'm on it. Wait, what? Oh, oh, we're talking. For I thought we were in the room. I was tripping. Triple lipping. Boris said to look for a container with my name on it. Okay, a container with my name on it. 
Uh, is it just like a straight up box? Probably in here. Yep, here we go. It's, it's a, it's a, okay, basically a jar. Now I'll take this to the bathroom to get rid of it. All right, let's go. Don't jump scare me. Oh my God, okay. The bathroom are on the other side, but I'm kind of scared now. I'm trying to hear whispering and sounds. I right, get in the bathroom. It's basically, my treatment is just a jar. That's hilarious. Fill the container, hurry up. Yo, what are they even putting in my body? That should be good. I'll put this back now. Let's freaking go. Mission successful. Hopefully, that's the end of that. That being said, I guess we should check on Edward and Twisty now. They should be in the punishment cell at the end of the hall. Let's make this visit brief. Something definitely doesn't feel right. Oh, you know what I already think? I think Edward and Twisty. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the ghost. What is he doing here? What? He's gonna walk past? What's good? He's walking like he just like there's there's poop sliding down his legs. What? Does he want us to follow him down the stairs? Haha! <laughs> Did you see the look on his face when he forced that moldy bread down his throat? How can I miss it? He's right there sobbing, trying to choke it down. Guess we should let him out tomorrow so he doesn't die in there. Oh, the little pig deserves it. So much work tending to their useless lives. Why do we bother? They're already out of their minds. See what I mean, bro? Let's follow the ghost, bro. How, how dare they? The only ones with useless lives here are them. I don't know what the ghost is doing here, but I'm glad he stops before he got caught. It seems like he wants to go to. to go. It seems like he wants us to go down those stairs. I think we should do it. I don't trust him. But he did stop us from getting caught by those nurses. I'll throw your lead. Let's go, big dog! Move! Interact! He doesn't even say nothing. So I just go down the stairs? Uh, what? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take a trip to the powder room. I'll be right back. This is not a good day to record, bro. My tongue is not doing its tongue job. Don't leave me alone for too long. Agnes and Dolores. It's awfully chilly in here at night. Oh my god. He's got a, it's that big ass machete he's got on him. Oh! Well, she deserves it, but like, he says run! Run for your Oh my god. Oh my god! Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. What just happened? My room. I need to get back to my room. Get to the room. Get to the room. What was the purpose of the- Oh my god! Get into bed fast! The thing we did if they catch us awake! Pretend to sleep, Anthony, like your life depends on it! Okay, 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 go, go, go! What's the problem with the ghost? Oh my gosh! All of you, with me now! Oh my god! Is the ghost a physical thing or what? What's going on? Oh, we got new homies! What's good? Look at Boris crackhead here, bro. Okay. <laughs> he's always he's always like this. <laughs> that bastard child, Edward, it was him. He cursed us. Come now, Agnes. I know how tragic this is, but Edward can't be blamed. He's been locked away. There's no way he could have done this. Don't be so sure, Boris. Every child here is a suspect. I've called the police station. They're on their way. Mark my words, there will be investigations held to catch the murderer of our dear Dolores. Whichever one of your kids is responsible, know that you will pay a deep price for this. What if none of us are responsible? Excuse me? Who do you think you're speaking to me with that tone? Anthony's right, sir. You called us out here. You called us all out here yourselves. The nurse is so sleeping. Make an excuse at a time like this. I've had it with you demon children. Out of my way! Oh! What the hell? No, no, no. <laughs> I've obviously been too lenient with all of you. I'll be back when the police arrive. Prepare for a much stricter schedule from now on. Okay, 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 okay. First of all, Grown ass man just assaulted two children. 
I know there's a murderer going on, but like we're six. Probably younger, maybe. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Living in the 20th century would be nuts. Look at poor Annabelle, so I stood up. Can I move? Here we go. Poor Annabelle, are you gonna do anything, Pookie? You got a big ass axe, but you're useless. Alright, let's talk to her. Annabelle, are you, are you hurt? Don't worry, I'm okay. What about you? I'm okay too. I'm glad we're both okay. Thanks for checking on me. Shut your mouth. There will be no talking between boys and girls. You may all return to your rooms for the night. Rest assured that none of you will be let off easy for this atrocity that occurred to you tonight. My god, bro. I can't take this anymore. Why did mom abandon me here? Please make it stop. It's gonna be okay, Tommy. I promise. I'm here for you. Oh! Nico going crazy! <laughs> okay, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh my god. That's why he has that big ass machete or, or steak knife. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this. Oh my god. We should have gone to sleep. This better be good or I swear it's gonna be a second murder tonight. Oh, Nicola is he's a gangster. Oh my god, let's go! It's Edward. Then 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 oops. Then 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 Alright. <laughs> Edward! Let's go. The whole gang is here. Hey! Are you okay? Tommy was so worried. Tommy agrees. Same here. Thanks, kid. It was rough in there. I'm glad to be out. It looks like all hell broke loose while I was gone. Yeah, not a pretty scene to come back to. We're all pretty shaken up right now. It must be up seeing that dead body too. Even I got chills seeing it. It's been a really tough time for all of us lately. But on the bright side, at least we made a new friend. Oh yeah? Hi Edward, I'm Pete. I've heard lots of great things about you. And my name's Marco. I'm Pete's imaginary friend, you see. It's nice to meet you guys. Though obviously the circumstances are rather grim. Nicole and I have something to tell you guys. Dude, no way. You guys killed the nurse? No, but we know who did. We're not actually insane, despite the fact that we're here. But who was it? It was the ghost of the asylum. The ghost? Are you sure? We saw with our own two eyes. Long story short, Anthony has snuck out earlier and planned to check on you and Twisty. The ghost murdered the nurse while we were on, your, on our way there. I'll never forget what we saw tonight. You snuck out? I'm glad you weren't caught. I thought it was really scary seeing the nurse dead. Can't imagine watching her be murdered like that. Yeah, it was one of the most messed up things I've seen. Even more troubling yet is the fact that there's a murderer on the loose in this very building. Any of us could be the next victim. That's what I'm worrying about too. I'm gonna try to find out more about this ghost. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Be careful. You know as well as I do how dangerous the ghost can be now. I appreciate it. Anyway, you should try to rest for what tomorrow will bring. I'm sure the nurses will be banging down our doors as soon as the police arrive. This is the most like, like almost hilariously crazy horror game. Like it's still terrifying, but it's like, oh my god, look at this. Get out of your beds and get ready for the day. The police are here. I'll be ready to see you soon. We're actually gonna get interrogated. Okay, let's think about this logically first of all. Let's say a 10 to 7 or 6 years old kid somehow killed a fully grown woman with a knife. First of all, how do you die to that? Like, they can't reach your neck. And second of all, I don't think they have enough upper body strength to like actually slice off part of your neck. Like, what? I'm nervous for the investigation. Hopefully it won't last long. Oh, this sucks. Right, let's go. We're ready for the day. I'm ready for the... Okay. Why are they always so close? Hey, I'm sure you already know. As far as anyone's concerned, we were asleep last night until the nurse woke us up. Got it. That's for the best. If they hear either of us snuck out, the throw us in jail with no trial. You know how it is here. You can count on me, bro. I got it. Right, let's go. Oh, she's already ready, bro. Look at her walk. Good, you're here. Investigation will take place in the cafeteria. You're up first, Mr. Rivers. Head inside quickly. Oh my god, man. Is that Nurse Agnes? Oh, I hate her. Dr. Fig, crazy ass, but I knew he was nuts from the beginning. The police officers need to hear your statement. Look at it. Just, oh, I wanted to like get a close up on Dr. Fig. You're Anthony Rivers? That's me. I see. 
I want to ask you some questions about your day yesterday. If you are found to be lying, it will be held against you in the court of law. I'm six! You understand? Yes, I do. Alright, now, tell me about your morning. Again? I got time? Uh, 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 uh. Wait, whoa! Oh my god, oh my god! What does he mean by tell me about your morning? I. A bit this morning? Or do you mean. Does he mean the. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go logically and like normal. Just like a normal. Uh, I'm gonna pick. I. I spoke to my manager. I ate breakfast with my friends. Put up chat. I cleaned the bathroom with Nicola. Oh, he means the morning of that day. What? I cleaned the bathroom first because we didn't get we didn't get breakfast. That lines up with what I was told. Thank you. Okay, good to know. Oh my god. Next, I want you to know what you did after cleaning the bathroom. Okay, let's think about this first because we cleaned the bathroom and then we we had free time, right? Well, let's see the options first of all. I went to the cafeteria for lunch. I got my treatment for the day. I got my treatment for the day. Yeah, that lines up with what I was told. Thank you. All right. It's kind of scary, bro. From what I understand, you were unconscious for much of the day. What happened when you woke up? Ooh, ooh. I woke up in worst office. Yeah, I woke up in worst office. That lines up, yes, sir. <coughs> your teacher says you were given a doctor's note to skip lessons. What did you do with your spare time? I went to sleep. I rested. I slept until the nurses woke us up to see the body. Yeah. That lines up with what I was told. Yeah, bro. Like, what's the point? I didn't do nothing, bro. They have no evidence. All right, Mr. Rivers. That concludes our investigation. Thank you for giving us a detailed report. No problem. That'll be all. You may return to your regular schedule. Some trash cans, bro. Phew, I'm glad that's over. I guess I'll head back to my room now. Look at this bastard here, bro. What is this angle? Look at how tiny I am, bro. I have to be like... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm six. Oh, it's Edward's turn now. Guess I'm next. Wish me luck. Good luck, Edward. Thanks. We all need some of that right now. Good luck, big dog. That was terrifying. I want to know more about the ghost who caused this. I should go to my desk to write an about a letter. Alrighty. The whole gang is still here. Let's uh, write a letter. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, where did my stationer go? I can't write a letter without it. What? Is Polos? Is Nicholas still here? Hey, good job with the interrogation. What's up? Can't find my stationer to write a letter. Some nurses barged in while you were unconscious yesterday. Called us all slops and threw away a bunch of our stuff. What? They took a lot of my books, so they probably threw away our stuff too. Of course, it was those nasty nurses. There's a chance your stuff could still be in the trash cans out in the halls. That's how I got all my stuff back. Ugh, you're never making me dig through those trash again. Just be careful not to get caught if you go searching. The nurses are all on high alert right now, thanks to the murder. Alright. I need to check the trash cans for my pencil, paper, and envelope. Okay, okay. Oh my god, we getting timed again? Yeah, this isn't too bad. All the trash is right here. Search it. Okay, find my pencil. There's another trash. It's gotta be the envelope. Nothing in here. Uh, okay, I'm already. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm already screwed. I'm already screwed. I don't know where the other one is. Is it upstairs? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, I'm already dead. It's probably upstairs and I've messed up. I've messed up. I've messed up. Okay, we, maybe we still got this. 30 seconds. Empty in here? Please. Oh my gosh. Come on, there's two. There's two here. Bro! Come on. Nothing. Paper, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That has to be the last one, bro. I'm not making anything else. Let's freaking go. Woo! Now I can go downstairs. Now I'll write Annabelle a letter to meet me and see if she has any leads on the ghost. Now let's write the stupid letter. Dun 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 dun. Dear Annabelle, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to ask if you'd be willing to meet in the shed again tonight. The same time that we went previously would work well for me. There's something I really want to discuss with you and Pookie. Uh, done. Now for the hard part. I need to sneak over to the girls' dormitory to drop off the letter. Okay. Uh, where is the girls? Yeah, I've messed up. Go back, go back, go back. Where is the girl's dormitory? Uh, dorm How do you even say that? Dormitory? She doesn't have crazy range. Alright. 
He's probably over there, I'm guessing. So I gotta like go to the other side of the stair. Probably this way, yeah. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, Pookie. Why are you guarding the freaking room? What's good, bro? Hello, Anthony. Why aren't you with Annabelle? Annabelle and the other, other girls are worried the murderer may return, so I'm standing guard of the room. I have a letter for Annabelle. Talking, talking with her right now will spell trouble if you get caught. Give it to me and I'll deliver it. I understand. I'll see to it that she receives, receives this. Be careful on your way back. Thank you, Pookie. Pookie is kind of a pause name, I'm not even gonna lie. Isn't that what you call your, like, your, your significant other? The rest of the day came and went, with security, with security tighter than ever, we couldn't make a single move without the nurses breathing down our necks. After all the recent events, I felt more constricted than I ever had within Hatmore's, Hatmore Asylum. Oh my god. Despite my anxiety about sneaking out, when the time came to meet Annabelle, I was relieved to be getting a taste of freedom from the shackles of the asylum. Oh, everyone's sleeping. Oh, it's already night. Time to meet Annabelle in the shed. I'll skip the candle this time since they might be extra alert tonight. Jesus Christ, bro. Does that mean it's hard difficulty? I can barely see. Oh my god. There's police here too. Okay, so is there one in the staircase as well? Oh my god. Well, it's, it's gonna not be too hard, right? No, 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 I can't even move yet. Well, how far in is this guy gonna go? Oh my gosh. When can I move is the question. No, oh my god. Can I move to the side? Yes, I can. Yeah, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Oh my god, he didn't call me, he didn't call me. Whoa. Their rent is not as good as I thought. Jesus. We gotta do this quick. Quick, 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 quick. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Oh my god. It's way harder than earlier, bro. Their range is pretty ass, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, they all. Do the they stop moving? It's, it's scary, bro. Okay, go, go, go. We gotta think about this tactically. We think about this. In strategic. St st yeah, in that, in that way. Okay, okay. My brain is like melting right now. I don't know when to go. Do I go now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Just run, just run. He's probably already seen me. If he turns around, oh, never mind. Never mind. Go around, go around, go around. Does he go the whole way around? Please. Get in, get in, get in, get in. I somehow made it through that. Okay, it's not as hard as I thought. Where's Annabelle? I'm, am I supposed to wait on her? Oh my god! It's a ghost. Wait, am I supposed to follow him? What's with the music? What the hell? This is bad. That could be Annabelle, but I'm not sure. Should I open it? Open it, bro. The ghost won't kill us. Why would he even knock? He already came in earlier. Just open it. Open the door. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do I have to check? Just go, just go, just go, just go. Go! Oh my god! Well, we know what to do this time, so let's just not open it. Don't open the door, bro. Okay, he's getting mad now. He's getting mad, he's getting mad, he's getting mad. Crazy ass, you already went in the door once. What's your problem? I swear, like, horror game characters just piss you off. Just to fuck around. Sounds like they left. He already came in the door already once. Why, why is he? <laughs> why did he start knocking? Psst, Anthony, Annabelle, quick, help me climb in. There are ghosts all over the place. Got you, girl. Let's go. That was close. Thanks for helping me in. It sure, it's frightening here at night, isn't it? Not at all. Not at all. Even so, I'm glad that you asked to meet up. Sneaking out is scary. I love being able to make a decision. Without the doctors or nurses controlling me. Was that you knocking earlier? Knocking? No, I just got here. I'm glad I didn't open the door then. Well, I did earlier though, so... <laughs> I saw the ghost right before I heard the knocks. Wait, really? He's also the reason I wanted to meet. Did you find something out? I snuck out last night and saw everything. Tell me everything you know. Let her know, bro. Wow, Anthony. I'm so sorry all that happened to you and Niccolo. And they even poisoned you. How could you do something like this? It's horrible. 
and the fact that the ghost is the one who murdered Nurse Dolores spells trouble for the patients here. I agree. They blame the blame of the murder will undoubtedly undoubt the blame of the murder will undoubtedly fall on another's shoulders. I hope everyone will be okay. Cookie is right. If there isn't a culprit to catch, they're bound to blame us instead. Oh my God! Is that the ghost? And now quickly, tell Anthony what you know. There may be eyes on us. The, go the ghost will. He's not a real ghost. What do you mean? Um, he just isn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter how I know that. The ghost is a real person. I'm completely sure of it. Does the ghost watch over your room too, Anthony? Nicholas said the ghost watched him. Wait, no. I think so. I've seen him. The ghost watched our room too, especially at night when we're trying to sleep. It's really scary. But one time, he came inside instead of watching from a distance and he left something behind. What is it? Oh my god! We're out of time. Just take it here. All this intervening. Oh my god, take the ghost tape. I know Pookie and Pookie are gone. I need to get back to my room quickly. Alright, let's go then. I'm just gonna wait till he goes to, go to the right. Here we go. How far out does he go? Here we go. Just keep walking, just keep walking. No, oh my god, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. No, we can't make it. I have to wait a bit more. And if he turns around, I'm screwed, right? Oh my gosh. No, never mind. I think I can move. Right now, go. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I'm, I, no way, I didn't get caught right there. Right, so I gotta go to the left. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, 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 okay. when do we go? I think when this guy ran from us goes back to the right, then we'll start leaving. Jesus Christ, bro, they even got police hired to freaking guard the asylum? Alright, start going now, start going now, start going now. Move, move, move. Hurry up, go, go, go. Oh my god. just talk to do i have a split split personality disorder march 28th weren't we in february earlier uh i didn't get enough sleep again oh you went about this every morning well if you didn't move around so much every night then maybe i'd get some decent slumber oh ho, quit your bickering here too you got another day on our starboard and we've got to hoist the sails together you see Maybe a poet at heart, but alas, even I can understand a single word you just said. It means that we need to work together and not fight, I think. Hey Anthony, you're awake. Good morning. Mutters, as if he could sleep with all of Polo's rackets. <laughs> Me and Tom are going to get ready now. See you guys. Oh my god. Who did I talk to earlier? I'm still like confused about that. Edward, let's go before Pete hogs the toilet. Pete always leaves like massive logs in there. Oh, I'll have your hits for that one. What does that even mean? God, what a chaotic morning. Hope it doesn't bleed over into the rest of the day. See you at breakfast, Anthony. See you there, bro. Oh, I'm waiting for everyone's... Oh, wait, am I not... Oh, I thought I was gonna, like, watch the tape. Or whatever. I already have a theory about who I was talking to. I'm thinking it's, like, my second personality. And that's the thing that, like, burned down our house, right? I feel like that's... <laughs> Miss me? I told you to stay away. And why would I do that? I told you that I never want to see you again. <laughs> you're funny. You know that as long as you're alive, you can't avoid me. But since I'm generous, I'll let you sulk alone for now. You're so boring to be around anyway. Hmm. Well, bye for now. Good riddance. Oh my god. So we have her own imaginary friend, and she's creepy as hell. Nah, that's nuts. I gotta play some more. I was gonna end it here, but nah, we gotta we gotta keep going. I don't get so okay. So the ghost, you know what I'm or I already think the ghost has gotta be freaking Doctor Fig, bro. Crazy ass guy. 
You saw how violent he got the second he got like a tiny bit mad. Instantly started pushing around kids. They even got the same build, bro. Let's eat our stupid slop. It's crunchy and disgusting, bro. Look at them watching over us. Oh my god. <clears throat> As you all know, treatments have been postponed recently since our nurses have been busy with matters relating to the police. Since we are behind schedule, everyone will be receiving double doses today. As you may expect, this means that chores and class are cancelled today. This will be reported as an act of disobedience in your wellness exam. What the hell? Okay. Indeed, that is all. Aren't they just peachy? I'm surprised they even bothered to tell us any of that. Oh man, one does already bad enough. Good luck everyone. Anthony, it was good. Taking your treatment today, remember that you must appear to be asleep. No matter what happens, you cannot break the act. Thanks for the reminder, Nicola. I'm sorry that it's for so long today. I'm wishing you the best. I hope everything goes well for you too, bro. Thanks, Anthony. Yo, Nicola Loki, the go, bro. So he's my homie in here. I need to go upstairs to get my treatment now. Okay, okay. You need to make a movie on this, bro. Good morning, Anthony. I'll be helping out with your treatment today. So, it's nice to see you, Boris. I, apolog I apologize for the difference in routine. We're a bit uh, understaffed at the moment. Oh, that's far too much chat. Get on the table, kid. That's freaking nurse. That's nurse Agnes. We're still mad. Sit still now. As usual, this will put you right to sleep, Anthony. Have a peaceful rest. Stop wasting my time and hand it over. Give your arm. Okay, Jesus. There, nighty night. I wonder if there's a mechanic where I got like a hold the button or something. You know, that would be sick though. If they like, I had to press buttons. Okay, there we go. I didn't pass out since I switched to treatment. As long as I pretend to sleep, the nurse shouldn't notice. Usually I can hear the nurses or Dr. Frey gossiping while I fall asleep, but nobody's talking this time. It's always polite, but I don't think po po Boris is very fond of the nurses here. The feeling is probably mutual. The nurses hate everyone. Alright, Bertha, I have to attend to other patients. I'll leave you to supervise Mr. Rivers in the meantime. If you need any assistance, if you need any assistance, Nurse Ruth will be here to accompany you once her shift begins. Very well, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be off then. Wow, I opened my eyes for a bit. Oh, close your eyes! Uh, I'm exhausted. What a day it's been. For all I know, I'm watching a little murder sleep this instant. None of us are safe anymore. Oh my god. How about I play a prank on her? That's our friend! Or Her name is Hollow? Oh, that's so sick! Don't do it, Hollow. Just a little one. Well, maybe no, no. Or oh, I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> well, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and they can resist either. I don't want to look like a murderer, bro. What the? That's kind of sick, though. I can't even lie. Look at her. Can I look around? You're right, Bertha. You're not safe anymore. <gasps> don't kill her. No, 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 no. You can't kill her. You can't kill. Oh, oh, you just kicked her. Okay, okay. Who's there? Who did that? I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> do you see the look in her face? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Hey, <laughs> sleep now. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we got a sick one, bro. Stupid nurse, stupid nurse. Okay, okay. Oh, what a pain. So we got a sick. That's so cool. Okay, okay. Before I even like, like read that. Oh, I so badly want to know why she, we don't like, like, why we're not supposed to like uh, our imaginary friend. Like, what did she do? Come now, Bertha. We're all on edge right now. I'm sure it was nothing. You're right. I must have been dreaming. I'm so tired from everything that's happened. I must have dozed off. Or Dolores. God bless her soul. Indeed. I'm so glad we weren't here that night. I just wonder who could do such a demonic thing. I did hear something rather interesting. What is it, Ruthie? You must tell me. Very well. You must keep it a secret. Surely, I will take you to my grave. Apparently, the alibis of the children matched up perfectly. There's no telling if any of them lied. However, the police said her throat was slit while she was standing upright. And none of the children are tall enough to do it. That's what I said in the beginning. I don't. I can't believe Doctor Fig. Did. It's Doctor Fig. Then, do you see how mad he got? He's trying to make you seem like he's so mad that he can't be a suspect. 
all these children are mentally disturbed. It had to have been one of them. I find it hard to imagine, imagine otherwise. I'm just telling you what I heard. Oh my god, bro. I can't- these- these are all adults, by the way, that's insane. Now oh, we're up now, let's go. I see you're awake now. Oh my, is that time already? I'll bring in Dr. Frenzy so we can start your second dose. Oh, I gotta do it twice? Oh my god, it's Boris this time. Hello, Anthony. Are the nurses coming? The nurses have all been called into questioning by the police. Yeah, that's amazing. They're freaking- yeah, that's good. I'm not supposed to share this, but I can trust you to keep a secret, right? Of course. I should have known I can count on you. You see, the police have written off all patients as suspects. They found evidence to prove Dolores was killed by an adult. That's great news. I thought sharing it might ease your nerves. Anyway, shall we continue to your next dose? Give me your arm, bro. So we're just getting water in our arm, basically. There we go. Remember to keep your eyes closed in case anyone comes inside. Unfortunately, I must tend to other patients, so you have to be alone for now. I'm sorry, Anthony. Lay low and good luck. Bro, Boris is the GOAT. A legend. I felt uneasy laying on top of the cold operating table, especially as the day grew darker. I found myself feeling lonely and afraid. It was not long, however, before I regretted ever wishing for company. Yeah, he. this man thinks he's a poet, bro. He's not writing like a usual child. Yeah, that's the ghost. That's the ghost. So it's a real guy! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is he gonna do now? He can't disappear anymore, can he? Well, apparently he can. Never mind then. Freaking Batman. Who's this? Hey, you. Oh, wait. Is he asleep? He's definitely awake. Hey, you're super bad at fake sleeping. Okay. Don't worry, you can drop the act. Who are you? My name is Momo. This is Pixie. I already know your name is Anthony because Annabelle tells me everything. Hi, Momo. This is from our roommate. She's really shy. She's super nice. She made this for you. Oh, wow. Here, take it. That was thoughtful. Tell her, tell her I said thank you. Annabelle's going to be so mad I risked coming here. So let's keep this a secret, okay? Bye. If you tell on her, you're dead. Pixie, I got a crazy ass friend too, bitch. Nice to meet you, by the way. Um, I'm sorry about that. Oops. They mean to call you the 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 big B word. That was too close of a call with the ghost. These two came just in time. I thought I saw a camera with the ghost. Was he trying to record me? Gives me chills to think about. Nico was right. Today has been insane. Close your eyes, bro. So, but how does he disappear if he's a real person? Oh, oh my god. It's Boris again. That should be it for today, Anthony. I see you have a doll. Did you bring that in with you? No, someone gave it to me. Someone came inside? That's horribly risky. Don't worry, though. I won't ask questions. Well, from now on, you and everyone else will be returning to the single dose. That's good news. Indeed. You must be hungry. They kept the cafeteria open all day since everyone's schedule was different. Go on and grab something to eat. You must be hungry. Thanks, Boris. Boris is a freaking... What a guy. Oh, well, his posture is... Uh, interesting. I think I'm gonna end it here. This has to be the craziest episode that we played yet. And we we met, first of all, we met a bunch of new imaginary friends and we met the girls of the asylum. We also found out that the ghost is a real person and he could potentially be the suspect or he could potentially be one of the adults at the asylum. And my guess is it's Dr. Fig because he's, he's moving sketchy right now. And we also got the tape from Annabelle that we didn't get to play, which we'll do in the next episode. So if you guys are hyped for that, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you're new, welcome to Dean Crew. Don't forget the name. And without further ado, until next time, peace.